you, Brother Sarah Banks, the interim, Nancy Bishop Lawrence Livingston, First Lady Mother C. Livingston, Greater South Florida, IC Minister, Rufus Nelson Jr., Lakeland, Florida. Oh, when the Jews go marching in, oh, when the Jews go marching in, oh, Lord, I Gentile. Gentiles, and we want to be in that number. Amen. Ten Gentiles are going to take the whole of the skirt of one Jew in the second exodus that's happening now and say, we're going with you back to Israel in the second exodus. Our national mother, Sarah Baxton, 58 years matrimony to uh, late Bishop W.W. W. Bankston, who was my pastor, my bishop, and instilled in me, following many of the great bishops, when I came to this church at the age of 17. I was baptized in the Brayton Pool on the Bishop Shingles and other shingles that came. 36 of us was baptized out of the firstborn church in Bradenton. And when you all were assigned to the Bradenton church, you brought such dynamism. Him being military, and then you standing by him those many years. You ate at our table. My lovely wife Clifford could not be here today because yesterday she went to Moffitt Cancer Center with our pastor, Lisa, who they just discovered a second cancer in her breast. She and our baby daughter has had both their breasts removed. And Mother Dees told me to fight for that. Mother, we're still fighting. We believe what God is up to is gonna be a benefit for our family. Got a call last night my brother-in-law passed away, Willie James Brown. Bishop Dees, our lustrous senior bishop, loves him. Kept him as, mm -hmm. as a emeritus, diocese deacon. We didn't bring a big uh, group from the greater South Florida diocese because a lot is going on there. And I commended our senior bishop for the challenge of that great diocese that's still growing. This young man has been appointed to the church that doesn't even have a building on it, the ground, but we have a man. And we're challenged that we're going to press through as interim pastor bishop and take it to a higher heights because of what you stood for. And I was able to pastor your parents, the late elder Shaw and Mother Shaw that took me under their winds in a little town called Bowling Green, Florida. And I tell you, in my first assignment, I was a hot-headed preacher. Hot-headed. I had some ideas I had to learn because I came to church in my mother's womb. And I saw what some pastors did, and I thought I could get away with stuff. But I thank God for Bishop Bankston calling me on the carpet. <laughs> And for you standing by him, helping me to be who I am today. We have a love envelope for you. And a lot of love for all the other mothers. In Jesus' name. Interim Bishop, Lawrence Livingston, 
That's given unto the Spirit of Christ. Did anything good come out of Bowling Green, Florida? Yes. Well, Mother Bankston did. <laughs> you all know her as your national mother, Mother Bankston, Missionary Bankston. But I know her as my auntie mama. All right. <laughs> she helped raise me. All right. She put those prayers on me to get me where I'm at today. <laughs> and it's been about. And she's a fighter that I know because I've seen her go through some physical battles and some spiritual battles. Yes, sir. Yes, but she's still standing <laughs> through the grace of God. But we got a little token for her. It's not many of us, as our bishop said. But I'm going to ask a few from South Florida, the greatest South Florida that I see. Please stand with family members. <laughs> Now we have a token of love for Mother Banks and Puppy Low. And uh, from one first lady to another first lady, we have that for her. But you know, new persons come empty. So we have a couple of envelopes here one from First One Church of Living God, Brady, Florida. And one from the family that she can put it in those empty purse. Right. Praise God. All right. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all yeah, please allow me to sit. <laughs> One day you might understand where I am. Amen. All right. <laughs> Amen. I praise the Lord tonight for being here. You don't know like I don't know what I went through to get here. But God being so good, y'all serve a good God. Amen. Take it from me, be encouraged, and stick with him. Through thick and through thin. Yeah. He cares for you. He loves you. He will provide. You know, like some things come to you. A whole lot of talking, nothing. He backs up what he says. Right. He got it all. He can do anything. And the old folks used to say he could do anything but fail. Amen. And the mother come up and say, he can fail too if you want to. <laughs> so over the years, I wrestled with that. <laughs> but the, the man got no need to fail. He don't have to fail. He don't have to repent. He don't have to say, I'm sorry. Be nice for some of us to be like that would be nice. I honor the Lord for being here. I thank God for you and you. My heart is rejoicing and I'm excited. And it's just a pleasure to look on you and you, some of you I haven't seen in so long. And some of you. I have seen and didn't realize who you were because I hadn't seen you in so long. <laughs> but I thank God for you. <laughs> because this is the firstborn church of the living God incorporated. Yeah. And I've been in this church ever since 1950 on a Friday night the Lord saved me and baptized me with the Holy Ghost. Right. And I tell you ever since I've been in this church I've loved it. 
I've been to a lot of churches and I enjoyed them. But I never went down on this firstborn church. If you can't see the good in it, it's too much bad in you. Jesus said, I that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And in case you didn't look in the dictionary to see what that meant, it means a whole lot of it. Life. And if you're not enjoying this life tonight, it's time you enjoy. You've been putting up with me for a long time, since 1950. And I tried my best to do you good. And I hope I've done something <laughs> that have encouraged your heart. And I hope that you love what I said, because if you didn't, I can't make you love it. But one thing I do, I please God and keep on saying it. Trying to cut it short. All right. I want to thank the Lord for each of you in your respective places. Many of you have been a blessing to me in so many ways. And I want you to know tonight, if I never get to tell you again, tonight I want to tell you, thank you. I want to thank the presider tonight for honoring me enough in my lifetime to include me on a program like this. I've never been in one, and at this age, I may never be in another. <laughs> but while I'm here, I'm enjoying this one. All right. <laughs> And by not never seen it 
done before. I didn't know what to do. So the Lord said, let me handle it. And he shut the heart of the ones that was in the, in the line and around. And they got those people and laid them out and laid their coats and different things over them and protected them. And God saved a multitude. And Mother Shingle saved them. How do you get them to come like this? Because there was, there was no room for nobody else. How do you get them to come like this? I said, I don't. I said, I don't get them to come. I just tell the young folks to come and help me. And when they come, they get into the spirit. And they keep encouraging their friends. And the folks get saved. <laughs> All right. God's outfit, I was faithful in that. He said, be faithful unto death. And I ain't dead. I'm 90 years old, but I ain't dead dead. <laughs> Nobody wanted to teach our young folks in the seminary. They said, you couldn't pay me to work with them bad children. <laughs> <laughs> And the Lord told me, he said, I want you to work with them. I said, Lord, you sure? He said, I want you to work with them. He said, I'm going to tell you what to do. I worked with them 13 years. And after that, he began to pass the me. And he told me, he said, there's going to come a time of decisions, and I begin to see these flashes. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And right after that, Bishop Townsend passed. And since then, I don't know if you noticed or not, but there's been a lot of decisions, and they're going to get even worse. And he went on from that. He said, prophesy death. Tell them death is coming like never before. I've told them to repent. I've told them to do this. I've told them to do that. And they didn't do it. So now I'm coming in death, and there ain't no match for death. And then I believe we've been going to funerals. We've been going to funerals. I don't know about everywhere else, but I know in that spot. We've been going to few big folks, little folks, young folks, old folks. We've been having them right and left. Sometimes we have had up to nine family members to go. The undertaker told me, he said, I had nine men and women on the table at one time. You think about the money they get today and then you get nine. <laughs> but it's rolling on and somebody was telling me about it. He said, they said, that's a, that's a good prophecy. He said, hey, God is really doing what he's saying. He said, you told the truth that time. I don't know what they thought about what I said the other time. But they said, you told the truth this time. And I want you to know, as they was talking, God said, not finna stop. And it didn't, and it ain't. And it's up to him when he do. The Lord prophesied through my mama for me. And told her, I would, I would be a great vessel unto him. I don't know what you think about it, but to sit up here and let this hand must be something. Amen. He told me to speak the, 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 the word of faith for your senior bishop and prophesied that he would be a great leader of this church, him and his little brother. And I want you to know tonight you see them in the office, and not to, to me now, they're great people. Senior bishop over me. 
and you got other choices. I thank God for him. This is a work of God. God spoke it. God done it. And I'm going to my son, God, and he's going to do it. 